Hello, my name's Sir Slowly, I'm from Kingdom24 and today I'm going to give you my top 5 tips for new players. Tip number 1, I'm going to talk about troops and how to maintain and look after them properly. Firstly, we're going to have a look at food here. As you can see, I've got zero food and my production is down, my hourly upkeep, should I say, is down to 1.2 million. So all my troops are going to die now. Not. They're not going to die at all. You do not need food to keep troops alive. This is one of the best features of this game. You don't need to worry about having thousands of farms and not being able to build anything else. It's a must in this game that people do not build hundreds of farms and waste valuable mines and resources that you could be collecting instead so as you can see my hourly production there is only 33k but my total upkeep is only 1.2 million i would need to collect every hour just to keep my troops alive i'm going to show you how many troops this account's got it's not that many but it's a lot for a beginner it's 411,000. so imagine trying to feed all them we've just all your farms it'd be virtually impossible because we are restricted on what nodes you can build secondly i want to point out is your shelter now depending on your castle level this one is castle level 25 is how many troops you can shelter at once now when you shelter your troops it's always best to shelter your lord along with them and he gives you an extra 5,000 there as you can see is that 50,000 5,000 so there we go we can press that we can hide that many in our shelter and they will be hidden for as long as you want you can recall them whenever you want it doesn't take a much it doesn't cost anything so that is how valuable sheltering your troops is and with that I have troops remaining as you can see I have 206k out so what I can do with them is then I can reinforce an ally or someone I know in the alliance. Now, for example, if I know an attack's coming, I could send it to someone with a bubble on. Here you can see a bubble next door to me. It's floor HH. I could then press reinforce. And I can send whatever troops I want to reinforce him. Now, depending on his embassy level is how many troops you can send and he can take in his, re his reinforcement. So you, there you can see he can reinforce, he can take 200k troops, which is all my troops covered pretty much. And if he's got troops on, he cannot be attacked. So all my troops are empty. And if I empty all my resources, send all my resources to him as well through transport, the person that attacks me gets nothing now as you can see we have a warehouse as well which protects resources here you can see our unprotected is zero so if they attacked anyone attacked me now they would get zero st stone from me and my capacity is 6.4 million there you can see how much total items i have is 23 million now when i was talking about food you get tons and absolutely tons of food boosters don't worry about foods only build one farm that's all you need in this game because you get so many boosters in food that you don't need to worry about anything all you need food for is this merchant ship and building upgrades that's all food is used for please do not build farms or try to keep up with looking after your troops because they'll constantly be never fed but before i go i'm going to show you garrison now it's very similar to reinforcing someone you can garrison your troops at another castle for example if he's got a truce on floor hh has got we can garrison our commanders as well so we can collect all our commanders here and send all our troops but the bad side of this is if he doesn't have a truce on they have to fight my troops before they attack the castle 
so you, potentially you could lose troops doing that if you press this button here you can see exactly what it says and there you go hopefully this has been helpful tip number two we're going to talk about rebel leaders and how they're important basically rebel leaders have few, serve a few functions now if we go to alliance here I've just claimed it doing another video but we have these chests here now these chests are from competing different alliance rebel leaders and we can then collect chests now as I'm going here you can see I keep getting more chests and more chests because I'm in a really good alliance and they are on the ball constantly giving us chests now what they do to get these chests is they go to click on world and then they can attack rebel leaders here you can see a level 4 they're on the horses they're easy to spot there's another level 4 but we can search them by clicking the search icon and clicking on them individually and searching for whatever level you are suitable for this account I believe does level 2's so I would there press that I have no motivation at the moment but you can get boosters and stuff and if you press max attack you can collect the boosters there but they you need to kill these rebel leaders before you get a chest now you see someone has already attacked this one and it's down to 69 percent ideally you do not want to leave rebel leaders unfinished if you can share it in your alliance by clicking this button here and going to alliance and clicking confirm and it will send it automatically to your alliance chat by clicking here and you see Sir Slowly has shared a rebel leader of level 2 and is here. It automatically brings you there and shows you exactly where it is. So the more rebel leaders you attack, the more chests your alliance get. You can hold up to 300 alliance chests and then once you collect them, hopefully we'll get some good rewards. Here you can see 25k, 150 See what I was saying about the grain, loads of grain iron stone you get you can get speed ups you can get truces you can get all sorts from these i hope this has been helpful and we'll go to the next tip tip number three we're talking about talent points now talent points are vital in this game if you want to grow fast and strong really quickly without having to worry about slow down in construction speed or research or anything like that there is one trick I like to share with people is here you can see we've got construction speed so if I reset this you can see I've got construction speed at temper here and that will give us a 30% increased in construction level level one research here it gives us an extra 30% increase research speed and I've said before I'll say it a million times research is king in this game but if you go all the way down to here you can go to construction 2 and completing that to level 20 well 20 points should I say that will give you an extra 55% increase construction speed that along with the extra 30 is 85% which is a massive increase and will help you grow really fast same with the research that will give you another 35 which will get you 85 percent another important talent would be troop training the faster you build troops the better so you want that maxed out which will give you 20 at level 2 if we scroll down here a bit you can see troop training at 35 will give us 60 so 20 add 60 is 80 percent increased troop speed now also I want to point out two important talents that you can do once they've completed by the time you've completed them you should have a well under good understanding of the game but you also have the army health which affects all your army uh, your army defense which is here it'll affect all your army and they're further down the level twos right at the bottom they're quite easy to find there you can see army defense army health and on the production I would recommend getting gathering speed 
I would go for number two before going for number one, like I have on this account, because once you get all your points here, I've got 25 in here, I've got it down to 29%. But once you have 50 points in here, it's at 100%, which is a massive plus, and it will help you gather resources much faster. That's why I'm saying don't worry about research, but this is why I would avoid getting this one first because gathering speed one only gives you 17 for 15 i would maybe go for that one second so i hope these tips will help you grow faster and we'll go to the next one Tip number four, we're talking about commanders and how they can help you grow really fast depending on their rarity and their level. So first thing we'd need to do is look at our commanders. Here we can see we've got Rob Stark and Chris, which are at level six and the rarity of purple. Sansa's at level six and blue. But if we wanted to collect these and increase the rarity of the color of the commander, we need to collect medals. Now medals are a pain to collect but and vital in the game. Obviously you can't collect them too, too fast otherwise the game would be over pretty quickly. And this game is all about building up. So how we'd collect them is we would need to go to the Weirwood by going below here. Now if you want to unlock Sansa or Rob for example you get this very early in the game. And this is the elite tab here this is your normal ones that you do normally and then you have the elite section now you need three stars on these to be able to blitz now blitz means that you don't have to sit through all of it and watch all the animation over and over again this means that you can press it once and that's the level complete and there you get the medals which for rob stark for example if i were collecting sansa like there before i press that once blitz it four times maybe <laughs> there we go we've got a sansa medal for completing it now we should only need let's see how many we needed for sansa still lots we need tons and tons of medals to get a purple so if you want to increase the level rank of your commander if you click here you can see what happens when you increase it that increases the number of troops your commander has and what items are required to level her up so this is a must in the game it will help you grow it will help you you will help you with battles it'll help you with rebels it will help you with troop training it, it, i mean um sorry battlegrounds it will help with a lot of things if you want to progress on the weirwoods and things like that you need to upgrade your commanders for example i need one more item for to get chris the rare is seven so there we can click on there and click combine we click on the armor piece that was required and it will show there that i can blitz that level because i have that at three stars six six we'll have a look where six six is in the weirwood so we've got a common six six is somewhere there so there you can see i need the armor to upgrade chris so you need three stars you can't blitz if you have two stars this is why i left this two stars because i wanted to show you i have to go through the battle and beat it individually before i can blitz i hope that's been helpful and it will help you level your commanders i will make a separate video on it going into more detail Here we come with his final tip we're going to talk about research now you've probably heard, if you watch my other videos you've heard me going on about how research is king and that how important it is so the first thing i'm going to do before we get started i'm going to show you this little gauntlet here see this when you click that that helps your alliance with upgrades and things like that when you're doing building upgrades and you press help that is what that does this one here is battles um, that we're going for rebel camps like this one here you can see you can join a rally by pressing this button here I'm unable to de uh, join because it's already de deployed but here we can see the rebel camp 
I believe this is a little one just to show it as an example. Yep, there we go. It's only a 4 million rebel camp. This is a power, and there you can see how we do it. So now let's get to research. There were a few little bonus tips here. We'll click on here and we'll go to the Maester's Tower. Now here you can see all the different types. We've got production, city defense, military, expedition and pacification. And now these sections are advanced sections of these that can help improve different things. Advanced military will help you with your, with your military. Uh, fortifications have got all sorts of different things, but let's get started on this. Now, one of the most important things I've said is building and how fast you can build. We can increase that by construction, uh, construction speed by pressing, if you press on here on research, it will show you how much it's increased by. Here you can see if we get a level 10, it'll be 50% increased building speed. So that, along with your research I was talking about earlier, is a massive upgrade. So here, if you look in this section, we can look at all the different resources, transport, blah, blah, blah. This one is city defences. Here, I'll show you my city defence and what exactly that is. This is this building here, your wall. And you can city commanders on your wall to work as defence. Here we've got 188k on this wall and we're as commanders that are guarding it. And along with that, we have the fortifications, or level 3 fortifications. I'll show you what it does. So here you can see what they actually do itself. Spikes are good against cavalry. Rocks are good against infantry. Arch towers are good against spearmen. So that's why that is a good research to do. So we'll go back to there and we'll show you the, the city defense really quickly. Uh, fortifications, this increases the defence of the fortifications. If we go down there, we can get it to a massive 135% if we get that to level 10. Uh, fortification might is a fortifications attack. Fortifications durability it increases the durability by a percentage. Here you can see the durability, we can increase that individually by, this is rank 1. As we go along, these increase in rank 1, rank 2, and so on and so on. So here we go to the most important part that people think is troop training. So here you can see spying when we're doing a spy on someone. If we're checking out their castle, we spy on that. We send a scout and we see what's in it. If you press on here, it'll tell you what each part of it does and what it does and how it can increase your scouting. Now this account needs to upgrade this, but it's been neglected a bit to be fair. But here you can see the infantry section. Now we have four sections here. We've got infantry, spearmen, bowmen and cavalry. This is weapon upgrade. So this will increase the attack of each individual troop. There we can see level 8 we'll get 64%. At level 10 we'll get a massive 135%. So all of them are the same but for different troop types. Armor type is defense and that will increase. Again we're doing massive 135%. Um... They're tier 2s I believe, tier 2 troops, once you've unlocked them that's all done. Here we can see physical uh, training which is health, it'll increase his health. And again, all the same troop type, we want 135% at level 10. Now once you get to this section, after your tier 3s, this affects your whole army. Now if you get all them, hundred and uh, get these all to a level 10, all of them all the way down that will increase your attack your defense and your health so if we click on here this affects his whole army so we would get 135 percent from that increased individually and we'd also get 135 percent increase for the whole army this is one of the most important troop upgrades i will create another video going into more details but there we've got a army attack which is increased which will go down 135% at level 10 and we also have the army health, army health should I say and if we get that to level 10 it's 135% so the next important one is expedition and pacification now I'm going to do these really quickly reduce the cost of motivation so you can do more attacks um, logistics which is obviously recovery rate pacification strategies that means that you can attack bigger re leader rebels and stuff uh, the co the amount of attacks you can do and send out at once that's a 
Cotton Ball Level 4. Uh, March Speed, Expedition March Speed. This is all your Rebel Leaders that I were talking about earlier. Expedition Damage, that's so increase the damage of the Expedition Leader. Morel is the Expedition Army Health, blah, blah, blah. You can spend your time and read these individually and how these will improve now if you go to the advanced sections this is all the wall section but going in advanced so if we look at that that increases the walls defense the walls repair speed the walls durability it increases by a percentage if we get that all the way up to 135 percent increase your wall will be a beast and many of men will die trying to attack you here we go again repair speeds it's the same again just going up rank twos and rank threes here we can go the advances cost this is a um, reduction in troop what it costs to make them so this is for tier ones tier twos tier threes ideally we're going to be building a lot of tier threes so you want to concentrate on these more than the lower ones pathfind is, is marching speed first aid is hospital healing speed so take the time have a look at these this is an important one talent archives now once you get to this section you can save different talent configurations for when you're attacking defending stuff like that you can change your talents instantly by pressing them then we're going to go to fortifications this does a lot of things i want you to go individually and read through these unlock spear infantry formation these treasury which is obviously gold dragon capacity iron bank the amount of uh, uh, diamonds you can invest in the iron bank but have a look at these there's some really good upgrades but i've covered the most important these are the most ad more advanced rare research uh, research you look at actually so the most important to start with i would say is your city defense your troop training um, your expedition for your rebel leaders and then your city defense so i hope this has been helpful so i hope you enjoyed my tips and if you need any help with anything please feel free to get in touch with me i'm sir slowly on kingdom 24 or you can leave a message below this video and i will get back to you as soon as possible if you have any more questions or you would like us to cover something on the video please feel free to ask and i'll see you in the next video